Look how good that looks. Look at that. I literally haven't posted since March. Yeah, I... Ugh, I was just so hesitant to post anything because I like really wanted this comeback to be good. I say it's a comeback, but it's not even a comeback. I was just like, I haven't posted in so long. So long? That I don't want to be posting like something meaningless that no, like, I don't know. I don't know. I just really wanted it to be good, but I, that was too much pressure on myself. And I'm just gonna do a freaking vlog, I guess. Mm. This quarantine thing has been like a blessing to some people, but I'm not one of those people <laughs> because I just feel like, I just feel so weird. Like I'm the kind of person that needs to like go out and be around people and like socialize to like feel like I'm living. And just staying home or going outside for a bit hasn't really like helped at all. And working from home and doing school from home, oh my god. I hate that so much. Like if I ever freelanced after school, like fully freelanced, I don't think I could work from home. I would have to like rent out an office or something or do like we work and just do that because I thought quarantine would like teach me to accept like being home and like making your home like your workspace but also your rest space i thought i would get accustomed to that but i haven't and i don't think i will and i that's okay the whole point of this youtube video or youtube account was literally to document my last semester at unt and just like show the world everything and everywhere we went in Denton. I can tell that my- <laughs> And I only captured a week of it before everything went to shit. And I'm, I mean, I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful that at least I like captured a snippet of what we, of what we experienced, but. Yes, come here, baby. Look. This is Charlie. Okay, so I only really post about Charlie on my Instagram, but I have two dogs. But Bambi never makes it. She never makes the cut. Anyways, I'm done ranting. You would kill me for saying that. There's this thing where girls started wearing like bandanas or do rags and they look so cute. And I tried doing it today. Good job. At least you tried. I feel so dumb. But you we're out here trying to again. trying to feel confident, but not really, but just acting like we are. You know what I mean? Nice. Ooh, this thing is good. Wow. I look like a baked bean. It makes me so mad that it's so beautiful out but every time i step out there like my allergies just kick in and i blow my nose a thousand times and then like, my nose gets sore and then i have to come inside and i'm sad and i don't know what to do i like want to be outside and tan or just be out there with my dogs but i feel like crap I made some yeah, cauliflower rice. Mm -hmm. I I'm not used to wearing normal clothes anymore, so I couldn't handle being in bed anymore. So I this is what I've been wearing almost every day in quarantine. Socks from Walmart. Some really old sweatpants from Cotton On, and this top from Airy having a sale right now you might you should get some but i actually these are so old and like my mom roasts me about them every single day of my life so i think i'm gonna go online and buy myself some i don't know 
I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go do that right now because I know I should be applying to jobs. I know I should be finishing my final project, but you know what? I'm gonna buy some sweatpants. You know who deserves a new set of... <laughs> you know who deserves a new sweat of... You know who deserves a new set of sweatpants? Who am I pointing at? Me. <laughs> Not you. Me this drink with lavender, lemon, and peppermint, and it's basically supposed to be really good for people who have allergies. Ah, but I can't chug water to save my life. If anyone challenges me to chug a beer, I will lose every time, and that's something that I want to get better at. Not that I like chugging things or beer. But it's so embarrassing that I can never chug anything, not even a glass of water. Oh. Uh. Gabby. Yeah. What's the first thing you're gonna do after quarantine? Uh. <laughs> Go to mass. Nice. So I've been looking for sweatpants online and they're freaking expensive. Like the ones from Los Angeles Apparel are like 69 bucks. And I know they're good quality maybe, I don't know. But I don't have 68 bucks to spend on sweatpants. Maybe some other day. Oh, on the floor. Um, <laughs> you're so loud. Can I talk, please? I feel weird laying on the ground. Um, so ever since coming back home, I haven't felt very motivated to work out, but Anthony and I have been doing this thing where we meet up like twice a week and work out at his house, but I am going to give it a shot to work out by myself in my room with my dogs. I'm just gonna play my favorite ab workout on my TV by Sofia Esperanza. It's really good. Um, maybe I can add the link down here, but it's... No, 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 I'm gonna, no. <laughs> I'm laying down, not you. I'm for two. Yeah, that didn't really work out because that hurts my tailbone so much. So if you don't have a yoga mat, don't try that at home because it hurts. So I think I'm just gonna do workouts that don't involve the floor. <sighs> Actually, I lied. I'm not a quitter, so I really wanted to do this workout. So what I did was just get a really fluffy blanket and put it under your towel. That works. And it doesn't hurt your freaking tailbone. I'm back. Purifying tea tree clay mask. I honestly don't know how face masks work. I just like how this one feels and smells. But I don't really know what it does. Um, but I think I'm gonna end the video here and just and play Animal Crossing. It's been a hard time adjusting to this new lifestyle in quarantine. And I'm just learning through this process to be more flexible and to go with the flow. And well, at least I need to stop being so hard on myself for not feeling productive all the time. First of all, feeling guilty for taking breaks. And second of all, just being unsatisfied with everything I do. I need to give myself a break and 
something that has made me feel so much better about myself is watching other people's YouTubes like Devin Lee Carson, Carlson, you know who I'm talking about, and Emma Chamberlain. They're not sharing like the best 10 tips for having a productive morning during quarantine or my morning ritual. Like no one has their shit together, but they're just acting like they are. And if you do have your shit together, then good for you. But I don't have my shit together and I'm pretty sure some of you guys could relate. And it's kind of nice to take a break from seeing so many things of people being productive and successful and thriving. Not all of us are thriving. And that's a-okay. Charlie, what's wrong? Charlie? Did you hear him? He started crying. Charlie? What's wrong, buddy? Do you wanna go outside? Okay. I feel like I went on a rant, but basically, cut yourself some slack, smother yourself with content and people who make you happy and not make you feel like shit about yourself and about your situation in quarantine. That's it, I guess. Okay, that's it. Whoa. Bye. Bye. I look like a, oh my God. Okay, bye. Bye.